Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is Verilog code for 4 is to 1 mux in data flow modeling style. Myself Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor, School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, Arlandi, Pune. So moving ahead with the today's topic that is multiplexer in data flow modeling style. Before that we'll be seeing what are the different modeling style and how it will be related. So whenever you are thinking of any digital circuit, there comes a combinational and sequential circuit and that aspect comes in your mind that uh, the circuit will be having circuit diagram or schematics, second logical expression that is equation and fourth that is truth table. So by knowing this three or any one of this, you can understand your combination or sequential circuit. Now when comes to the Verilog that is HDL hardware description language there are three aspects of modeling that how you will be able to write a code in very long so first is structural or gate level second is data flow that is also called as a rtl and third is behavioral modeling style now these three modeling aspects in VH, uh, very long vhdl relates to those three aspects of digital circuit that is circuit diagram logical expression and truth table normally whenever you are going ahead with this gate level modeling style you should be knowing circuit diagram or schematic of your circuit whenever you want to go ahead with the data flow modeling style you should be knowing equation that is the logical expression for that particular circuit and when you want to write the code in behavioral modeling style you should be knowing the functionality that is behavior or truth table of that particular combinational or sequential circuit so according to that you will be preferring which modeling style you will be going ahead with So data flow modeling style. So data flow modeling style is completely done by the logical expression as I told you earlier that for moving ahead with the data flow you should be knowing equation or expression. Uh, if truth table is given then you need to convert that into equation by using kmap. So logical expression or equation is mandatory to go ahead with the data flow. So this is the medium level abstraction and this type of modeling style along with structural can be used for ASIC design. So here we will be using logical operators and XOR for modeling. Keyword used for data flow modeling style is assign. Now moving ahead with the Verilog code for 4 is to 1 mux in data flow modeling style that too using ternary or conditional operator. So we will be going ahead step by step. So first what is mean by mux? So multiplexer is a data selector. You are having multiple inputs there are some select lines and according to that select line you will be getting output over here. So suppose there are four input so it will be requiring two select line that is two raised to power n. So if two raised to power n that is four inputs are there two, in, two raised to two. So you require n that is two select lines. So there are possible combinations like 0 0 if select line is 0 0 a is getting selected and it will be uh, available at the output y. If 0 when is selected, b will be coming at the output. If 1 0 is selected, c will be coming at the output and if 1 1 is selected, uh, then d will be coming at the output. Meaning of that, if you are putting 0 over here, you will be getting 0. If you are putting 1 over here, it will be getting 1. Meaning of that, again, if triangular waveform is there, you will be getting triangular waveform over here. Likewise, whatever present on this line will be selected at the output and that's why this is called as a data selector. Now, over here you are able to see the condition. So what is meant by ternary operator? So in data flow you can go ahead with the ternary or conditional operator. Now what is conditional operator? So in that conditional operator there will be certain condition given. If that condition is true then whatever data present over here will be applied at the output side or given to certain variable and if that condition is false then this value will be assigned to your output. Now example suppose the keyword as I told you in data flow is the assign all the keywords you need to write in small case because Verilog is the case sensitive. So assign keyword is written over here now y equal to means whatever value will be assigning to y that depends upon this condition if select of 0 question mark and colon whatever written left side of the colon is indicate true condition. And whatever written on the right side of the colon, it indicates false condition. Meaning of that, if my select of 0, means 0th bit of select, which is this one, is 0, 
select bit that is this one is true that is 1 then D will be selected and if it is false then C will be selected. So don't relate at this moment with this particular truth table but just for give, giving the example I am just uh, elaborating that Y will be getting value of D if this condition is true and Y will be get the value of C if this condition is false. So if true is there D will be assigned to Y. If this condition is false the C will be assigned to Y. So only this thing you need to remember while using ternary operator. So now how to go ahead with the 4 is to 1 mux code in data flow modeling style using ternary operator. Now as you already uh, uh, studied that this is the concurrent language. Most of the statements execute concurrently like a hardware and that's why it is fast. So over here whatever statement you are writing in data flow that are executing concurrently. So you can't use any sequential statement over here. So this whatever the ternary operator we are using this is the concurrent uh, way of uh, programming and that's why we are using that in data flow. So now how to write a code. So purposefully I have kept this numbering over here so that, that there should not be any missing of the statement. Whenever you are writing a Verilog code, you need to start with the module and end with the key module. So over you are able to see this blue color which is the keyword and all the keywords as I told you earlier it should be in small case. Now you need to write a name to your model. So now over here the name of model is given as a mux underscore 4 is to 1 underscore 1. Now here the whenever you are giving the name it should not start with the digit it should not start with the special letters or special symbols or it should not start with the underscore after writing any character you can give that underscore or digit over there but start should be by the character so mux underscore 4 is to 1 in bracket and bracket complete semicolon in between that you need to assign whatever input and output ports you are having to the mux. So here as the diagram indicate it is having capital A as an input, capital B as an input, capital C as an input and fourth input is capital D and there are two select lines that is bus is of 2 and there is output Y. The same thing is mentioned over here. So I am considering at this moment instead of S0 I am considering select 0. In bracket if I am writing select of 0 means the 0th bit of select and if I am writing select of 1 meaning of first bit of select. So that way you need to remember whatever nomenclature is given same way you need to write in the code also. Here I0 is given and you are writing A so don't do like that whatever the name is given the same way you need to write in the code. So module is written name is given to the module it should not be an identity uh, it should not be a keyword so that way you need to follow some rules now inside the bracket you need to write down how many inputs and output available to that mux so as you know there are four input as well as two select line and one output so same way you need to write input a comma input b comma input c comma input d now you can give it a comma b comma c instead of writing multiple time input also until unless that they are of same type. So this is a single variable of uh, data type wire and that's why by default nothing is given in front of input. So it is wire type data. So over here D is written. Now these are again as input but it is of bus 2. So you need to write input. Bus is of 2, uh, two bit and that's why in square bracket you need to write 1 is to 0. If that is of 8 then you need to write 7 is to 0 and bracket complete. The square is very important. You can't write uh, curly braces over there. Now, what is the name given? That is the select and that's why select is written, comma. Now, inputs are over. You need to write the output. So, what is the output? Output Y. So, name is given Y. That's why we have written Y. Bracket complete semicolon. So, this is what is the port. Whatever the ports, input output ports you are having to that particular mux which we have written. Now end module is coming by default. In between that you need to write functionality. At this particular point there is no relationship between A, B, C, D, select and Y. You are not knowing the relationship between input and output. So you need to give the functionality over here. Now in data flow as I told you earlier you need to use keyword assign. So assign is written. What you are assigning to Y. So Y is the output. So Y is getting value of A, B, C, D depending upon select line 
available so now ternary operator as i told you it is a conditional operator condition is true this condition a is greater than b so d will be assigned to y so condition is true d will be assigned if condition is false c will be assigned so that way question mark semicolon plays a important role in a ternary operator so y equal to select of 1 means msb bit if msb is true true means 1 and question marks so this term indicate false because semicolon before the semicolon we are having this true option and be after the semicolon it indicates false option now this is nested kind of thing that is inside this again there is one conditional operator so that's why for this question mark you need to consider this particular block as a true and this after colon consider as a false so now select of one so if select of one is true means this condition if this is true and this is also true that is select of zero is also true means select of one is true and select of zero is also true then what you will be getting that is d so you will be getting this true condition that is d at the output side now if select of 1 is true means this condition 1 and select of 0 is false that is false means 0 so this condition what you will be getting at the output side that is c and that's why after colon c has been written so hope this idea is clear how to use this ternary operator now again go ahead that if select of 1 is false so you need to follow this uh, block after colon so if this is false means out of these two condition there will be one condition available now again you will be checking inside that select of zero is true select of zero is true meaning of that this is the select of zero and if this is true you should be getting b at the output side and that's why after question mark on the left hand side of colon it has been written b so if this is false and this is true then you'll be getting b at the output side same way if this is false and this is false means this is also zero and this is also zero you will be getting a at the output side so that way you need to write a code for 4 is to 1 marks in ternary uh, using ternary operator and this is the end model which indicates end of your whole code so model is ended and everything is written inside the module and end module so this line plays an important role in specifying the functionality of this 4 is to 1 marks where depending upon select line you'll be getting particular input at the output side so this input will be given to the output depending upon the select line that is if it is 0 0 so hope the idea is clear and for that this particular understanding of this ternary operator is very much required so condition is true this particular output before colon will be assigned to y and if condition is false then after colon whatever value is there that will be assigned to y so only that you need to remember and if there are two select lines in our case it is select of 0 and select of 1 so always you need to take msb at the first and nested loops you will be having select 0 that is lsb so these things you need to keep so in this way we have seen how to write a code in Verilog for in data flow modeling style that too using ternary operator. So in the next session we will be going ahead with the how to write a test bench for this 4 to 1 mux so as to verify that functionality of the uh, code written is proper or not. So in the next session we will be moving ahead with the test bench. So thank you everyone and thank you for patience listening. This is the simulation waveform. After writing a test bench, you will be getting this simulation waveform and that way you will be checking the functionality. So, we will be seeing this thing in the next session. Thank you. Thank you and happy learning.